good morning, Detroit, and good morning, Woodward Avenue. It's right behind me right now. I'm going to be switching up the backgrounds for the first couple of weeks here in the studio because I want you guys to feel comfortable and feel like you know this entire studio too. My name is Stick, and today is the official day that we're releasing the report card. The Lions report card for the first semester. That's the first four games of the season. And um, let's see, when I posted this in several Detroit Lions chat groups and stuff like that, everybody seems to be giving them Fs, Ds, Es. I saw a couple Z minuses in there. Uh, but let's take a deeper look into really what the Lions report card is so far through a quarter of the season. Um, coming into the season, the offense was supposed to be our shining light. You know, we were out without Matt Stafford last year. Didn't win a game without Matt Stafford last year, so it was assumed if Matt Stafford came back that the Lions were going to be better. Well, so far we're 1-3, and three, and uh, we're not looking that much better. The Lions are averaging 334 total yards a game through four games. That puts them around 25th in the league. So we are definitely in the bottom third in offense. Their passing game is the only thing that's really treading them above water. We're 232. Um, those yards are coming from our passing game. So it puts our passing game at 22nd, which obviously is a little better than 25th, but that means our rushing game is bringing us down. We're ranking 26th at 101 yards a game. And we always used to hope that the Lions would average 100 yards a game rushing, but that's just one dude. We want one dude doing it. We, you know, three guys are averaging that. That means they're only getting about 33 yards a game, and those are not really productive games. So our offense, those are where we rank. Uh, we've had some bright spots, and I think most of them are coming from rookies and our second-year players. Uh, Quintez Cephas, I love him. If you read any article on woodwardsports.com, you can tell that uh, I love Quintez Cephas. I think he's a great human, uh, and I think he's a great wide receiver that we were able to steal in the draft. First game of the season when he was filling in for Kenny Galladay, he had 10 targets. He only caught three of them, but he showed that he can get open. He showed that he can uh, be there for Matt Stafford if any of these top guys go down. So uh, really happy to see Quintez Cephas and his progression so far through four games. DeAndre Swift, I know a lot of people were down on DeAndre Swift after the first game, and he dropped his pass for the game winner. But I honestly think this kid's going to be a solid NFL back. Like, if we would use him like we did against the Saints, I mean, we were using him like Alvin Kamara out of the backfield. It was amazing the first half. He was catching that little corner slant route that you'd always run in Madden with your backs when you got him paired up against a linebacker because he's quicker and you know the linebacker can't keep up with him. That's the route Swift should be running pretty much every single play. And they did a good job with that. So I like DeAndre Swift. I'm excited to see what his future is. I know some people are sad about it and don't really love him, but I do. So don't sleep on DeAndre Swift just yet. Uh, TJ Hawkinson in his second year is being what he is drafted to be. Drafting him number eight overall already put kind of a target on his back that he had to perform immediately. This year, he's a solid top tight end, uh, top tier tight end. He's in the top 10 right now, and he hasn't really had a breakout game. So imagine once he has his breakout game, that'll push him into like the top seven, top five territory. So I'm pretty happy with what I've seen out of Hawkinson uh, and Kenny Galladay. Him coming back, you immediately saw Stafford throw to him a bunch. He bailed out Stafford on a couple diving catches. Like that is the guy you can tell he's an impact player on our offense. But with all that being said, we still rank 26, and that is way too low of where the Lions should be. So for that and our 1-3 and three record, the overall report card for the Lions offense, they are getting a D. Now on to the defense. We don't cover very well. Uh, we don't pressure the quarterback very well. We don't get turnovers very well. And we get out schemed pretty much every game. So, yeah, 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 things are looking up for the Lions. Uh, but let's look at the numbers. Uh, the Lions are ranked 26th in points allowed. Obviously cannot win ball games allowing that many points. They are 28th in passing yard and 30th, 30th in run defense. That means there are only two teams in the league that are worse than the Lions in run defense. Matt Patricia is supposed to be a defensive genius. You know who looked good? The Patriots look good, and they were playing the Kansas City Chiefs. 
They were doing it without Matt Patricia and his defensive scheme. So it kind of scares the shit out of me that Matt Patricia leaves the Patriots and they're still doing good. He comes here and tanks our entire defense. 30th in run defense. Like, seriously, the I don't even know who's worse. I got to say, like, the Jets probably and maybe the Broncos or the Dolphins. But even if you're being talked about in the same breath as the Jets or the Broncos or the Dolphins, that's a failure of a season. So, Matt Patricia, your defense gets an F because it has been failing. It is a failure. So, we got a D for the offense, an F for the defense, but while we can get to the bright spot, this is where this is like when you're performing well in phys ed in junior high, like you're failing math, you're failing social studies, you're failing like the real courses, but you nail phys ed. That's what we're doing with our special teams. We're we're killing it on special teams, Lions. Can we give it up, Adam? Can you give me a clap? Adam's clapping for the Detroit Lions special teams. It has been the lone bright spot. I mean, our punter. He's averaging 53.1 yards a punt. That puts him first in the league. Boom, first in the league. We're number one in punting. How do you like that, NFL? Take that shit to the bank. Then his 51.1 net yards per punt is five yards better than the next closest punter in the NFL. We are absolutely crushing this punting game, mostly because our offense sucks and can't get beyond our own 20-yard line, so we got to punt the ball 80 yards. But it doesn't matter. We're doing it well. Our special teams are amazing. So i got to give it up to Jack Fox. He gets an A. He is the only player on our roster to get an A. Congratulations, Jack Fox. Adam, did you even know who our punter was? <laughs> yeah. Jack, I'm getting my Jack Fox jersey tomorrow. I'm or, Actually, let's order that shit right now. I need a Jack Fox jersey. He is the only player on the Lions getting an A. And then we got Matt Prater, who I give a B-plus to. I think he's done well. He's missed a couple field goals. He's 7-9 for the season, but he was 4-4 four for four in the week that we won. Hit the game-winning field goal when we needed it. But you know what I heard that Matt Patricia did the first day out of practice? Brought in four kickers to try out. Does that make sense to anybody? Does that, does that make sense to anybody? Uh, like, Prater, don't worry about Prater. You know how everybody always says, don't worry about Stafford. He's our, he's the best quarterback we've ever had, and Stafford's fine. It's the rest of the team that's garbage. It's Prater. Prater is fine. He's 7 of 9. He was the you know, special teams player of the week. Why are we trying to put pressure on Matt Prater? He has been a godsend. Remember what it was like between Jason Hansen and Prater? Remember that year we went through four kickers before game six? Like, no, keep Matt Prater happy. He gets a B plus. You do not replace the B plus players. So for that, I am giving our special teams as a whole a B plus. So we got offensive D, defensive fail, special teams a B plus. Now we get to the fourth installment of the team, coaching. And I honestly don't know where to begin with coaching. Um, if we're talking between games, I think Matt Patricia is an actual good coach. I, I am willing to say that. Matt Patricia is a good coach if we're talking between games. Because we do well in the first quarter. We do well pretty much in the first half. But then we get into the game. And then we don't make any adjustments. And that's where we are. And, you know, my boy Mike Tyson, probably my favorite boxer of all time, he has a famous quote, Everybody's got a plan until you get punched in your face. And Matt Patricia has great plans going into the game. But as soon as he catches one of these, he doesn't know what the hell to do. We panic. We just like we just keep walking back into the same situation, getting hit in the face over and over and over and over again. So Matt Patricia, he gets a D-. minus. So those are our grades. Offense, you get a D. Defense, you get an F. Special teams, B+. Plus. A. And then our coach, you get a D minus. So overall, I add all those grades up by the scale, the four point scale, and then you divide by four. Our average grade for this season so far, a D minus. Not quite failing, but definitely not passing. And a D minus is completely unacceptable for the Detroit Lions. Uh, what do you think should be the grade for the Lions? Drop your comment below, A, B, C, D minus. Like I said, I've seen all the way to Z minus in some of the chat rooms I've been talking to. So, uh, Detroit Lions fans, it's a rough start of the season. The next, what, six games, Adam? Look, six or seven games, unfortunately. Yeah, they're winnable. 
And as a Lions fan, I want us to win those games, but I also know if we go 3-3 three and three or like 4-3 and three in the next seven games, and then that puts us at, what, 5-6, and six, they're not going to fire Patricia at 5-6. and six. They're going to say, oh, we're so close, just one more year. I don't have another year. I don't. I'm dying soon.